Welcome back everyone, Dirch here, and I have another legendary weapon preview. Now, I was farming for this gun and I wasn't having a lot of luck, but um, a Grey Wolf sent me three of them. Two of them I have equipped here, a Shock and a Fire with a very nice uh, anointment, and then a uh, Corrosive one also with a nice anointment, but Corrosive is not going to be a whole lot of help here on this map, so I'm not going to have this one equipped. Um, but this way I can kind of swap back and forth between these two and uh, use the <coughs> pardon me, use them. Well, we do see a variation in stats here, which is good, so we're seeing different versions of it. We'll get in those parts later. Uh, for now, let's go kill some enemies and then let's talk about the gun. Actually, before I kill some enemies... One reason I really wanted to get this gun and use it was the red text is Get Back Spithead and it is called the Skek Skill. Get back, spithead. And that is a reference to The Dark Crystal, uh, an awesome movie growing up and recently Netflix uh, rebooted it to do like a prequel series of it, which I watched and loved too. So um, I'm pretty happy about this gun just being in the game. Um, so yeah, you saw a lot just happen there. And, uh... I like you better, this gun does a lot. It's kind of an interesting gun that I'm excited to use, but damn, this thing is powerful. So this is just using shock, and it's just ripping through these guys. Now, I've done some shock-only guns uh, in the past that uh, were underperforming, because shock does... Uh, Reduce damage against flesh. Now, this is one thing I don't like about COV, that pull-up. Um, makes swapping a lot harder. You're already dead. You know that, right? But, uh, so far I'm not having too many issues with this gun with overheating. Ah, I should have taken care of that guy. I was getting hammered. But this war dog really always annoys me. Alright, I did overheat there. Oh crap. I forgot to put racks on. Let me uh, switch out as soon as I can. Uh, is this glitched out? I seem to not be leaving grills in the mist. I don't know if some hot fix is applied. I must have gotten in here too early. Alright. Which also explains why I'm not seeing ghosts. Um, I'm already this far into it, so... So be it. Uh, this gun has not been affected by hot patches, so I'll just get out of grills in the mist and we're fine. Is my pet still fighting back there? What are you doing, me thief? Is there an enemy back here? That was... Oh, there is! Alright, so this is a good time to talk about the gun. So you see those explosions going, so as you shoot this thing, let's uh, shoot in the sky. So it shoots normal bullets, and then RNG kicks in, and it shoots out these explosions. And uh, those things do good damage. And then they explode after a certain point into a decent size uh, splash damage. So let's look at these parts. This one here, you got fire rate, which is very nice. Damage, very nice. Uh, minus heat per shot, where you lose a little damage accuracy. That's okay on a gun like this. Damage, damage, I mean, that's pretty much a magazine increase. Uh, two damages, more, which is nice. The starter. <coughs> uh, more damage in melee. Which I think this is on all of them. I could be wrong. Recoil and fire rate. And then shock. So let's look at the fire. This one should have less damage accessories. So that's the same. Damage up there, which is different. Damage again. Heat per shot. So it's got two of those. So this thing's can uh, fire for longer, which we actually saw that on the card. The same blade. The grip. So a little different parts. And where is this one in comparison? So, yeah, they, they all have a range of parts, which is good. 
All right, so since I did that first one mainly in uh, shock, I'm going to try to go mainly in fire and see how the fire one handles shields, since we saw how the shock handles uh, flesh. But yeah, this gun is pretty awesome. And it's interesting and unique. Um, so I don't think Moe's is going to be too good with this, because Moe's doesn't really play nice with COV as far as I know. Yeah, that did uh, pretty nice. Um, however, um, I think Amara is going to rock with this thing. Because, why are guys not spawning over here? Alright. Distract them! Oh, that cryo anointment was nice there. Oh, Jesus Christ, this thing is kicking ass. Get that cryo back. Jesus, when you add that cryo damage to all that, it's game over. Those explosions do work. Alright, let's get some healing, because I am uh, going a little crazy there. Alright, so that guy is a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really don't like that with the COV though, how the uh, that pull that you have to do every time. It really kind of slows down the uh, swapping. Now, I'm half tempted to rock one of these with a Mara with Infusion. Now, usually I don't recommend Infusion on uh, Elemental Guns, cause, but if I could run a Shock fire one of these, it would just deal with almost everything. And you see how fast I'm ripping through the shields there. I'm just going to do this to get my cryo back out. I mean, this thing, it's got stopping power. It does not care. And the fast fire rate off of that, uh, um, off that burst you get. Because that's just one trigger pull. You get a burst, and then those explosions. Um, yeah, it does a lot. A lot of very fast damage. This thing is a DPS monster. Uh, K6 recently did a Top 10's pistol video. I'm not always the biggest fan of those videos, but whatever. I mean, they're, they are what they are. But, um, uh, yeah, he nailed it by having this on there. I haven't really had experience with this gun yet, and uh, I am very impressed with it. Now, Moe's does have splash damage synergy, which could play nice with this stuff, but, uh, I wonder what this would do with, uh, um, indiscriminate, uh, Amara's chain reaction skill. Damn, that crit, like, one-shot that dude. I want to see what your guts Um... Because would indiscriminate cause the explosions to reproc is a good question. Alright, I'm gonna grab some ammo. I'm not terrible on ammo right now, but getting a little light. This thing is a high fire rate gun, so you're gonna burn through quite a bit of ammo with it. Alright, I'll just check some of these up here. I'm not too worried about it, but enough to just stop a few times and grab a little bit. Man, this thing. I don't know if it'd be better with a fire with adding shock to it or shock and adding fire to it. And then I have a... Probably adding shock to it, because then I could have the corrosive one and also add shock to that and then burn through the... Uh, the corrosive enemies. This also would probably work well with the transformer, um, because you should be able to absorb your own uh, shock damage uh, for like close range. And what's the melee bonus on this again? Only 80. But you could do like an Amaro melee hybrid with this, with shock and a transformer maybe. 
And that seems like there's some potential there. It's one of those ones too, you can almost like fire and forget. Because those explosions will come up and uh, finish them. Just like that. What's the dot? Alright, dot's nothing too special. Better than the Hellfire's dot, I think. Yes, this gun's got a better dot than the Hellfire. I think the Hellfire is like 580 or something. Yeah, that just wrecked him. Like, that was fast. Not that he's a challenging kill or anything, but, you know, you've seen me take him on with a lot of guns, and that was faster than the average. And that was out without procking the anointment. So, yeah, this gun with Amara, holy crap, that's going to be interesting. It really makes me wish that Singularities would work more like they did in uh, Borderlands 2. Go for the eyes! Damn, Beans again, being stingy. Alright, so I'm having so much fun with this gun, I think I'm gonna go uh, do some extra killing. Yeah, this thing is... This thing's enjoyable. To say yes, the least. Into the fray. Which one am I rocking? Alright, let's get this cry out here. Decomposition suits you. It's better close range, I think, because then you're more likely going to get the explosions to hit. Um, they can uh, get a little wide, but that dot should kill her. So yeah, too long range, the, I think those can miss, because you can see how wide they just got there. But when they hit, they just work. It was almost like that Becca where you can like kind of hit him with that first burst and then just trust the second one to finish him, which is always kind of a fun play style. Alright, definitely got to hit up some ammo now, although I'm holding on just barely. And this one too is hitting like just right for the overheat, like I'm not really overheating with this. Um, just letting the burst do its thing and trusting the gun and not spamming it too much. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of staying on that brink, which really helps the DPS too, because then you're not like constantly reloading. Um, <clears throat> and if you could get some, I know there's some COV stuff that reduces uh, heat as well, so I would definitely prefer that with this thing, so you don't have to worry about that overheat procking. It did once or twice in the shock one. Yeah, like right there. And I'm, I'm getting some secondary hits for that stuff too. <laughs> he just shotgunned that guy in the ass. Damn, this gun is awesome. I am super pumped about this. I love when like a cool thing comes together. <clears throat> and this is one of those. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, just walk through the cryo. Yep. This is a glorious Wait, who's left? Oh, that guy that always hides up there. Jesus. So this might be a good example. Because, yeah, those guys uh, are grouped up. Yeah, that worked pretty well on them. So, yeah, I'm grouped up enemies. This is spectacular. You there. Which, again, you makes me wish rest. singularities were less... Uh... He'll die from that dot. Or dots. 
Yeah, this one here on Amara with the uh, aug uh, no, aug anointment for uh, cryo, and then put shock on it. Pocket racks. Is that going? Yeah, he'll die. So I'm kind of just maintaining that like 200 ammo, which is nice. Can't wait to try this on Tront. Damn. Alright, where did you go, badass? So there is that they can move out of the way of the explosions. Uh, he just did that. So that's something to be aware of. Oh, did I just overheat? Nice. Alright. Yeah, let's I don't always check this. Come on. All those manners classes, and this is how you do me. Alright, 395 should be enough, so obviously start with shock. Doesn't look like I'm going to get much more. I don't think I'm going to need all that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, well, uh, you find that. something for me? Nothing. The game is saying no. Yes, to the bloodletting! Damn. Yep. Yep, that's a thing. Holy crap, that was a thing. That was one of my easier trunk kills yet. Get back, spithead! Damn it, now I have another gun I want to work in with Amara. <laughs> Why are all these things so good? This thing is kick ass. Kind of mad I wasn't playing with this earlier. I think Zane would be really good with this too. Um, reason being, it just puts out so much damage so fast that I think you could uh, do quite well with like Brain Freeze and Calm Cool Collective with this thing. Because uh, just play close range with Zane, which you obviously can with Barrier. And you should be able to, although this isn't the most accurate thing, you should just be able to put these on crit. And, um, yeah, kind of proc his skills really fast. The thing does crazy DPS. Um, yeah, it seems like it could work, especially like this fire version where I have a cryo anointment. Uh, that seems like it would work great with Zane. And, uh, I was watching Mopey and Biznap stream, uh, do a co-op stream. And the clone did really good with this gun. He was wrecking things with it. Um, not gonna do girls to miss because I don't have the hot fix applied. Um, just because it doesn't have like terrible recoil, and then the extra explosions. Uh, yeah, the digi clone was just going ham. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a very good gun for Zane. Uh, if you want to go to like clone and barrier cryo build, I think this is a hell of a gun for that. The chaos. I said I don't know. I mean, Mose does have the splash damage stuff, but uh, a lot of that magazine stuff doesn't really apply to COV as much because they're heat based, uh, heat based guns. So. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Moe's, because the splash damage stuff, could do cool things with this. Uh, but I don't know if Moe's... Maybe if you just avoid that mag stuff, you could do a cool alternate Moe's build. Huh. There's some potential there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then obviously Amaro's going to wreck with this thing. I'm really kind of interested in like throwing this fire one on Amaro and doing an infusion build. Uh, it seems like it would work quite well. Hmm. 
That's uh, very interesting. And it comes in all elements. I'm just really excited about this gun. I have all sorts of ideas. And uh, yeah, it comes in a variety of parts, which is cool. So we can kind of min-max it. And then... well, this seems like a gun you would want. I kind of like that that uh, that terror one. The corrosive one is terror. I would like to do a terror build with these because, um, God, what was the name of the? I'm trying to blink. Sketch skill was the Chamberlain. He was a character, and not the race of him. But the Jesus, I'm trying to blink. Um, but the, the that race of creatures that uh, Sketch skill was, um, also voiced by Simon Pegg in the new one. Um, yeah, they were like very like a fear-based ruling class in Dark Crystal. So doing a terror build would be like thematically really cool with this. And uh yeah. Hmm. That gives me so many more ideas. Alright guys, sorry, I'm uh just uh my brain's going into overdrive thinking about how awesome this is and all the things I can do with it. And I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna go to town farming more of these. Um, to try to get all of them with a uh, good terror anointments, um, because this might be the terror build I want to do. And if you guys are so kind and you have some terror ones that you don't want, uh, I'll take them. Uh, obviously I'm on PC. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope, uh, you are thinking of cool things as I am. Oh, let me show the shock one with the explosion. So those obviously aren't hurting me where the fire one should. Yep. So it does have uh, that uh, transformer synergy. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So uh, as always, subscribe, hit that notification bell when, so you know when a new video is coming out, and I will talk to you all later.